E yo guys, what is up? Today in this YouTube video, we will be doing a um a versus type of thing. So it's gonna be a zero overall running back versus a um zero overall O line. So this is the team with the zero overall running back. He's got a 99 overall O line, and we're gonna see how he does. Now on the other side with the Miami Dolphins, we've got a uh, 299 overall running backs with a zero overall O line, as you can tell right there. We got Balaj and uh, Kenyon Drake, and we got 12 overall everyone on the O line. So we're gonna see who performs better on the um, like which running backs perform better. Will the will the team with the 99 overall O line running back perform better, or will the zero overall but with a 99 overall running back? perform better now i think the team that will perform better in my personal opinion is going to be the one with the 99 overall o-line because in reality they have the better defense it's we're using the dallas cowboys on that side they have the better defense they've got dak prescott they've got mari cooper and let's be 100 percent honest as long as they're not running the football they're going to have an amazing time because they're going to have 99 overall o-line all they have to do is pass the ball on the other hand, the Dolphins, I don't think they're going to make it too far. Because, look, whenever Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to get dropped back to pass, he's going to get sacked. He's going to get destroyed. I feel like 100% team that's going to be better on um, is going to be the Dallas Cowboys. It's pretty obvious. But I want to see which running back will be better. That's that's the main topic that we're trying to Start discuss today. So we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and sim to um, midseason and see how they're both doing. And see if um, anything's happened. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So I'm back, and shockingly, the Dallas Cowboys are one and six with this amazing O line, with this 99 overall O line, and with a 12 overall Zeke and Tony Pollard. Somehow, the Dallas Cowboys are one and six. I'm very shocked, and I want to see what's going on here. I want to see also what the Miami Dolphins have done. But this is kind of shocking to me right now. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, right now on the season, uh, well, I don't really care about what Dak Prescott did, but here's his stats. He didn't do too terrible, to be honest with you. 78% completion percentage, and he only threw two interceptions. He was pretty good. What, what was happening with the rushing? Okay, so, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought they didn't even give him a carry, but I guess they did. 98 carries to Ezekiel Elliott. Negative 225 yards, 3 fumbles. Somehow, Tony Pollard ended up with 0 fumbles, 34 attempts, and negative 74 yards. Um, the two people who ran who actually got positive yardage was the quarterback, Dak Prescott, and Dalton Schultz. But it looks like with the 99 overall O-line and the running backs, not too good at all, to be honest with you. Um, but I mean, I'm actually kind of shocked about what happened with blocking. How many sacks did they allow? A couple, actually. Four by him, two by Connor Williams, Tyron Smith, and then two by Connor Williams. Kind of shocking to me how they're not passing more with Dak when they see that Zeke is actually doing worse in the game, and yet they're still handing it off to him 98 times, and he's getting absolutely demolished. All right, let's go ahead and check out what's going on with um, the Dolphins. Are they doing better? They actually have a better record, two and five. That is actually very, very shocking to me. How they're two and five. All right, so the zero overall O line somehow is putting up better than the 99 overall O line. So I guess Kenyon Drake and um, Kevin Balage, I think Kevin, is he? Kalen Balage, Kalen Balage are doing a, a better job holding up, like with this zero overall o-line and i don't even know how ryan fitzpatrick is getting his passes off to be honest with you so let's go ahead and check out their stats this is very shocking to me i was expecting the exact opposite yeah it looks like he's getting so pressured that his pass rating is 66.4 his completion percentage is a 40 percent it's absolutely horrible he's been sacked 20 times and they've only played like what seven eight games um and yeah, it's, it's, I mean, but he's not gotten too many interceptions, only two. Rushing-wise, wow, they're actually doing amazing somehow. 583 yards for Kenny and Drake. What is that in the NFL? Is that pretty good or what? Kenny and Drake. It's not, it's not top. It's like top five, top ten, maybe. So it's, it's actually really good, to be honest with you. Compared to the other one we saw, I was expecting. 
expecting it to be the other way around, to be honest with you. But somehow, zero fumbles, zero fumbles for both the running backs and 583 yards, 300 yards. They're averaging 6.6 and 7.1 yards per carry. Three touchdowns for him and four touchdowns for him. And it looks like somehow Ryan Fitzpatrick, even though his pass rating looks kind of bad and his completion percentage is bad, he hasn't thrown too many picks and he's actually doing a little bit of a better job than the Dallas Cowboys are with a 99 overall O-line, with a better quarterback, with better everything pretty much besides um, a better running back are doing worse. I'm actually going to go into these awards and I just want to see um, are the Dallas Cowboys winning best O-line at least or what? Yeah, they're, they're on top O-line. Every single one of them is in top O-line. But somehow, the running back's garbage. So that makes absolutely no sense at all. And then let me see in the AFC um, best running back. Let's see that. Is he up there? Yeah, Kenyon Drake's up there. He's number five. Also, I want to see what, what happened when the Dallas Cowboys and the... Um, when the Dallas Cowboys and the... Miami Dolphins faced off who won that match and like how much did they win by so the time they faced off 16 to 7 the Miami Dolphins walked out of there with a dub even though he walked out with two sacks and um Ryan Fitzpatrick only walked out of there with 66 yards 27 percent completion percentage terrible Dak Prescott actually walked out with a pretty good game uh touchdown 300 passing yards a good pass rating Yet somehow they lost. How is this possible? I think it's gonna be negative yardage. Yeah, negative 30 yards for Zeke, negative 18 for Tony Pollard, and then rushing wise for them, 150 by Kenny and Drake and 46 by Kalen Balaj. So apparently, running game matters more than the passing game. Um, in this game, but we're gonna go ahead and sim to the end of the season and see if maybe something different happens because uh, I don't know what's going on right here. All right, we'll see. I'll see you guys back here when we do go and step to the playoffs. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am back as uh, the season has ended. It is in the playoffs now. And 4-12 and of the Miami Dolphins finished, so they ended up getting two more wins at the end of the season. I want to go ahead and check out their stats. Uh, I will go ahead and check out their stats, actually, right now. All right, so, looks like... Ryan Fitzpatrick finished off with a really bad pass rating, 64.1, which is probably the worst in the NFL. 13 touchdowns, thir 3 interceptions, terrible job by him. Um, and percentage, completion percentage was a 39%. He got sacked 55 times in the season. How about Kenyon Drake? 1,415 yards. Kalen Balaj got 601 yards. They didn't. Uh, Kalen Balaj fumbled once. That's kind of shocking. 99 overall running back fumbled. Kenyon Drake did not fumble at all in the season. They both averaged about 6.5 uh, yards per carry. Eight touchdowns for him. Six touchdowns for Balaj. And let's check out on the NFL. Were they like the top leading runners or something or what? He was number four for uh, running back with the yardage. Um, that's actually pretty good compared to the amount of carries he got. Like, they all got 290, 260. He only got 208. And somehow he was still putting up good stats. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out, um, the other team. Like, how, I, I hope the Cowboys got maybe another win or something. Because this is kind of shocking to me right now. But, we'll see. They ended off the season with a 2-14. Okay, so again, we see that somehow the 99 overall O-line cannot hold up. Dak Prescott finished 6th best pass rating in the NFL. Um, he actually was pretty good on passing yards, pretty good on passing touchdowns. He had 22 passing touchdowns, only a 76% completion percentage. He got sacked 23 times, which is kind of bad for a 99 overall O-line, I'm going to be honest with you. Rushing-wise, oh god. Oh god, no. Negative 511 yards for Ezekiel Elliott and negative 116 yards for Tony Pollard. That is terrible. Six fumbles for Zeke and one fumble for Tony Pollard. That is horrible. What about sacks allowed? How did Tyron Smith, 99 overall, allow nine sacks? Again, I, I'm, I'm like shocked right now how do they even win a game if they were like this bad i'm gonna go ahead and check out did they still win best o-line because if they did this this just shows you how rigged this game is 
No, okay, only one of them won. It was Zach Martin. But besides that, yeah, all right, I think it was pretty accurate, to be honest with you. And then here, Kenya Drake came in fifth. All right, makes sense. So I'm very shocked by what has happened here, but apparently it's better to have a zero overall O-line with a 99 overall running back than it is to have a 99 overall O-line with a zero overall running back. Like, a ton better, by the way. Not just a little bit, but a huge amount better. And I don't know why Jason Garrett was so dumb to run the football with Zeke after they realized he was getting negative yards. I don't know, man. But I just want to check out, uh, last thing I'm going to check out is just, um, how did they do? Like, which teams did they even beat? And how did they even beat them if they were this bad? Um, let's go into the regular season. They won their first game of the season. They won it 13-10 against the Giants. Um, looks like he was pretty good on his passer rating. 100.0.2, sorry. He got a touchdown. He got an interception. 229 yards. Got sacked zero times. And then Zeke got negative 39 yards. And then he got negative 18. So they didn't do too terrible there, I guess. Negative 39, negative... 18 and they and he didn't get sacked at all on that game and then the other game and then looks it looks like all their games were pretty close though if you actually look at these it looks like a lot of their games were very close they lost by like last minute and then the other game they won was to detroit which uh in that game matt stafford had a pretty bad game and Dak prescott had an amazing game got sacked zero times and 136.8 passer rating yeah, Dak, and Dak had to run a lot in that game. Look at him, seven sacks, seven um, runs, 33 yards. That's insane. But Zeke got negative 27, and he got negative three. All right, so see, when Jason Garrett was smart and didn't hand off the football as much, look how much more they won the game. So, yeah. All right. So that is the final conclusion point, is that it is better to have a zero overall um zero overall o-line and have a 99 overall running back than it is to have a 99 overall o-line with a zero running back i hope you guys enjoyed this one and please make sure to uh subscribe for more videos like this one and like this video all right i'll see you guys next time peace